Hey creators, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the best four ways for you to color your artwork in Adobe Fresco. And I'm also gonna show you the best ways to use those features. So whether you're a new digital artist or you happen to be new to the Adobe Fresco program, or maybe you're a veteran, this video is meant for you. First up on our list, we have the reference layer tool. This is a really cool feature in Fresco that simplifies the coloring process. The reference layer tool does this by allowing you to add colors perfectly within the lines of your sketch or artwork. And the best part about this feature is it keeps your line art and your colors on separate layers. Before moving on, I just wanna give you an important note about this feature. The reference layer only works with an enclosed sketch or line art. Now, let me show you how to use a reference layer feature. So we're gonna start out by going to our layers, click the layer we wanna use, this is gonna bring up a new option under our layer actions. I'm gonna scroll all the way down till we see set as a reference. I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna add another layer and any color that I add here will be right underneath the line work. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna use this nice little red color here. Then I'm gonna go, I already have the paint bucket on, but I'm gonna make sure that's turned on. And now all I need to do is literally just tap and the colors will change. So just a heads up, there are a few issues you may run into while using these coloring techniques, but this video is already running pretty long and I'm gonna cover that in a totally separate video. So next up on our list, we have the paint bucket tool. This tool allows you to quickly fill in an area with color and that can range from a selection, a shape, or an entire document. Now I'm gonna show you how to use the paint bucket. So I'm gonna go ahead, just add a new layer so I don't mess up my original artwork. And I'm actually gonna go with the theme of this, I'm gonna draw a heart. So I'm gonna go to the vector brush, so now I'm just gonna draw some hearts just around the cat's head. And like I said, you wanna make sure this is closed because if not, the color will pour outside. So now I'm gonna scroll over here. I'm gonna tap my paint bucket tool. And all I need to do is just tap inside of my shape and the object will be filled perfectly. If you wanna become a better digital artist in the Adobe Fresco program, make sure you paint that subscribe button because if you're not subscribed, you're gonna miss all my upcoming videos that shows you the ins and outs of how to use the Adobe Fresco program. And most importantly, so you can take your designs to the next level. All right, guys, let's jump back into the video. Now let's talk about our paint inside function. This feature allows you to apply color within a shape or a selection of artwork, but it only works when you're using a brush. Also, no matter how much you paint outside of the shape, all your color will be contained inside. Now I'm gonna demonstrate how to use the paint inside function. So first I'm gonna start by going my layers option, make sure I'm on the right layer, which I am, so that works out. Now on the left hand side, I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom until I find this squiggly line icon. This icon is our paint inside function. I'm just gonna tap it so now that it's on. I'm gonna go ahead, let's see. Yes, I'm gonna go with blue and I'm gonna put on my pixel brush layer. So now I'm gonna go ahead and paint on my character's face. And as you can see, no matter how much I swing my hands, everything is inside this face shape or inside of his face. And the cool part about this is if I wanna do the same at the top of his head, I can go ahead, start coloring. And Fresco is gonna know just to only fill in that shape. For his shades, let's say if I wanted to make this gray, which I'll do right here. And just like that, everything is coloring inside the shape. Next up, we have coloring with our brush tool. This coloring feature is a staple in Fresco because it allows you to paint in different styles like watercolor, oil, and over a thousand different painting techniques. And coloring with a brush allows you a lot of flexibility for you to color freehand. Now I'm gonna show you how I color with the brush tool. So I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm just gonna add another layer, drag it underneath my artwork, because remember this is a brush, unlike the other option that we had before. So the layer has to be underneath if I wanna color and make sure it's not on top of the black line. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick this tan color. And now I'm coloring my design just like I would any coloring book. But as you can see, if I go too far, it will go past that black line. So I just wanted to draw back to drawing with the brush. Now I'm gonna follow the same steps for the shadows and the highlights. So now that we understand the best ways to color in Adobe Fresco, now we can explore all the other powerful features like how to create our artwork from scratch or how to use their powerful brushes. And you can learn more about these features in my next video.